Welcome back to part 5. So in this one, we're going to create the... Basically, we're going to create this. I'm just going to show you here. We're going to create the HUD that the player will see on the screen. Like... Like this, pretty much. <laughs> no, seriously. We're going to implement the health here that we created in the previous video. So we're just going to do a progress bar to be able to display that health in the game, right? And we're going to come back back and forth in this to every time we had a new functionality in our first person character. So let's start with doing something similar like this. So we're going to go back to the YouTube project here. And here under folder. I'm going to create my own folder. So I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call that one underscore my stuff. And I'm going to place all the things that I'm using right here. So I'm going to create a new folder and that one will be called widgets. I'm going to right click and I'm going to do a user interface. And I'm going to create a widget blueprint. I'm going to click here on user widget. And I'm going to name this the player widget. So as we see here, right, we're going to name this similar like this one here. So I'm going to click there because it's a widget blueprint. I'm going to start with W underscore player underscore. HUD. There you go. And I'm just going to open it. So now I'm in it. So I'm going to search for a canvas panel. And I'm just going to drag it down here. So the canvas panel is what the player will be able to uh, see. So now I'm going to search for a progress bar. So the progress bar will handle our health from our first person character. So what we created here. So I'm going to go there and I'm just going to place it around ish what I need. So around this and with this selected, I'm going to make sure that I anchor that to the bottom left corner, which will always be appearing there, no matter the size of your screen. Um, I'm just going to compile that. So now that we have this, selected we're gonna go to the percent here on the progress percent and if you move that there you can see that the bar is moving right so you can always play with this if you want it to fill up a different way like from the center for an example it's up to you you select what you want i'm just gonna go keep that very basic so left to right and i'm gonna create here a binding so that binding will be what's going to refer to our first person character to display that on our screen. So we have the get percentage here, but I'm just going to rename that. I'm going to get uh, I'm going to get health progress bar. There we go. So from this here, we need to do a reference to our first person character. So I'm going to go to under event here and we're going to search for the event begin play, which will be this one here. So when this get construct in the game, so we're going to drag from that and we're going to cast to our first person character, which should be right up here and the object well the object obviously will be our character so get player character right here and we can remove those two we're not going to use it and i'm just going to promote this to a variable there we go and i'm going to put that under class ref so it, it's good to try to stay organized because you can have quite a bit of variable at the end of a project. 
So we're going to go back to uh, the designer tab here. So we have our progress bar right here. So when you click our progress bar, we have the name here on the progress bar that we see in the event graph. So I'm just going to call that help like this. And I'm going to go to the graph here. And I'm going to go back to my uh, function right here. So now I should be able to take the reference for a character right here. Get reference for a first person character. And now if I drag from that, I should be able to access the health variable that we did earlier. So I'm going to get the health variable right here. From that, I'm going to drag and I'm going to divide that by 100. And I'm going to plug it right there. And I'm going to compile that. So we're going to go back to our first person character to be able to test if this work on our screen. But first, we need to add this to our screen. I'm going to go to the first person character. Right? I'm just going to make sure we select all of that. And we do a comment. And we're going to call that else regain logic there you go so i'm going to move that there i'm going to put a little color so i'm going to put a little greenish there we go i'm going to compile and save that so now we have to tell the game that we want this to be displayed on our screen so we're going to go for the event begin play so we're going to take that I'm just gonna move it a little bit here and I'll move this one down here. So from here I'm gonna search even begin play. And from this we want to create that widget blueprint. So we're just gonna drag from that and create our widget blueprint that is right there. And we're gonna select our widget blueprint for our player HUD. And we're just going to promote this to a variable in case we need it later down the road. So I'm going to call that widget blueprint for player HUD. And I'm going to make breath at the beginning. And now we have to add this to the viewport. So we're going to drag from that and add to viewport and we're going to compile that now let's test it out so we're going to press play so we shall have our progress bar right there at the bottom which is perfect however as you can see the alt it's not going up it's because this nothing tell the game that they have to call this to fire off all that code. So what we have to do here, so when the game start, it's gonna add the widget blueprint to our screen. So if we move that out of the way, we can hold S on the keyboard and do a sequence. So when the game start, it's gonna create a widget blueprint for us and we're gonna call regen alt right here. So now if we compile that and try it again, our alt should go up. As you can see, it's slowly, but it's going up because we put 0.5, right? So if we want to increase that speed just to see it a little bit better for the purpose of the video, I'm going to put 5. So just that we can see that quick. If I do play, you see the alt is going up for us. So that's perfect. It's exactly what we want. So I'm just going to go back there and put the amount that I put earlier. There we go. So now we created our widget blueprint for our character to see what's happening on the screen. And we display that on the screen when the player 
start the game using the event begin play by creating that widget and calling the alt region. So I'm going to select all of that, do a comment, I'm going to call that begin play. And I'm going to make sure I click the bubble here so when I zoom out I can't see it. I'm going to do the same here for the alt. There we go. So now we do have that that worked for us. So I will terminate that video here and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.